Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense. Today we're looking at Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. <clears throat> did you buy anything from them on Black Friday? I did not. Um, however, I, I buy stuff from there when I need it. Uh, let's take a look at this chart. Uh, all time high was $188, right now we're at $147. Uh, looks like the stock recently bottomed at around $81, and now it's at $147, so that's been a nice gain if anyone did buy. Um, looking at the RSI, it's strong. It's at 57. <clears throat> I, I see the bulls have this one. MACD is roaring up. That's great. Money flow is also up, and relative momentum index is also heading in the right direction. So uh, Amazon looks like it is lagging. Uh, the others like NVIDIA, Microsoft, uh, Google, uh, but I mean, it's not far behind. Uh, the performance this year is 75%. Jeez. <clears throat> I think Microsoft is like around 60 or something. Um, anyway, uh, let's, I do want to chart this out. I do have this open. Let's Let's see if I can get a clean, a clean, all right. Oh yeah, it's broken above the downward channel. It's broken above the downward channel. It's actually in a bullish Ichimoku cloud. So yeah, if it, if it breaks the 147, um, 03, which is where it's at now. I could see it getting to 188. It could be a couple months, but I mean, this thing has some real momentum behind it. You can see, you can't see it. Let me. Right here, you can see it's upward. All this volume right here is green. So, <clears throat> again, I think Amazon's just going to continue tearing. I want to look at the yearly momentum all right so um gosh if amazon closes basically where it's at now or higher i could see this going on another five six seven year run of just up straight up well not straight up but you know kind of like a a nice little uh, roll up, kind of like this, like whoop. So um, that looks cool. Um, let's try and calculate the fair share price. So we can see that it's priced earning. It looks like it's expensive. Forward PE looks like it is cheap, cheaper in the future based off of current statistics. 530, look at this, like this is beautiful, this is scary. <clears throat> the EPS might be weak, depending on how Black Friday was. So let's uh, let's bust out my calculator and see if we can calculate this. So, wow, their earnings per share this year is 1,085%, that's insane. Okay, anyway, uh, they, they make 554, everything's in the billions, right? <clears throat> yes, except for the trillion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so they make 50, 554 billion. Uh, they are profitable plus 20 billion, 0 0.08, plus 1519. That's representing trillion. So that puts us out over tr 2 trillion. Yep, that's correct because 1.5 trillion plus 554 billion is over 2 billion. Or over two trillion, um, and then looking at let's add their cash and remove the debt. They have seventy billion in cash, so plus seventy point three nine total debt. One hundred forty billion, so minus one hundred forty point one nine. Okay, so we're gonna take this divided by nine. So it's saying a share price, a fair share price of $224, and right now it's at 147. That seems realistic to me. Um, 
again the previous all-time high was 188 190 so uh with time i think it could get there um so that looks good in terms of insider buying or selling we can see a lot not any buys but just sells um has Be bezos sold bezos jeff bezos actually bought one share Yep. He owns 990 million shares. That's crazy. Um, so Jeff Bezos bought one share at $114. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, I mean, that's, let's see what hedge funds are doing on this one, actually. Um, it says they own 67. Ooh, look at this. That's insane. They loaded up for this drop. They loaded up right here. Wow. Okay. Um, so it says they own 67%. Down here it says 60.8. So new data shows a 7% increase, which is good. Um, good for them. Um, it looks like we also have a cup and handle right here. Or an inverse head and shoulder. So shoulder, head, shoulder upward or a cup and handle here's left cup right cup handle boom a uh, cup and handle puts us at 136 minus 85 which is around 50 50 something so take 50 and add it to 140 so 190 so if we did a cup and handle calculation here we take the height of the cup minus the low of the cup and then add that differential to the height of the cup so the height of the cup is around 140 plus 50, we have 190. So that again lines up with our all-time high right here. So again, does not seem that out of the question in my opinion. Um, I mean, this stock, it, it just looks like a good buy in my opinion. I mean, the EPS is just insane. Yeah, we had, there was a monster dip to 85. It essentially went down for over a year. So if you bought back in 2020 to 2021, you're probably still underwater. However, if you bought end of 2022, you're looking really good. So, um, I mean, this is Amazon. It speaks for itself. I don't have any other things to add. Um, I think this one's gonna continue moving up. My chart on the monthly, Again, it's essentially cleared this downtrend channel, and now it's just literally about to clear this Ichimoku cloud. So um, good times ahead for Amazon, in my opinion. Uh, I think one of the near-term downsides could be the Black Friday lack of demand, in my opinion. If you guys made this far, consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button or the dislike, leave a comment. Hope you're doing well. Thanks.